No days off means to me that work hard every day. They had a skills competition. They had fastest skater and he won that competition. They had a cone jump where you had to jump over as many cones as you can. He won that. And then they had an obstacle course slash skills competition and he won that also. He's definitely my strongest student that I have and I coach kids from 7 to 18 and he's by far my strongest skater. There you go. He's just very smooth on the ice. It just looks very natural for him to skate. It's just in his heart. It's just in his blood. He loves hockey. He wants to learn. He wants to be here. And he'll do the little things to get better in the long run. My name is Gregory. I'm seven years old and I play hockey. We got to cut hard and make that move, right? We're here. Shift. Shift that weight. Left to right, all right? Go. I practice every day. I work on skating and always shooting. Today, we're gonna work a lot of tight turns, a lot of edge work. It's pretty basic what we do most of the time. Tight turns out of the corners, working in small areas, opening up hip. A lot of things that we are normally doing with him and just pushing him to go fast. I started playing hockey when I was five and a half. I was at an ice skating birthday party and I liked it a lot and I was skating all around. We had gone to an ice skating party and it was his first time on the ice and he just really loved it and we couldn't get him off the ice. It's actually funny because that was the first thing I ever had to kind of force him to go to. So I was like, I know you'll love it, just try it. He was very nervous, he went, he loved it and I've never had to make him go to another thing again. Good, again, shot. Recently, he's been working on his shot. As he gets a little bit stronger, his shot will improve, but we just want to work on the technique. That's the biggest thing. You're going to score a ton of goals from here. You're not going to score a ton of goals being this close to the goalie. Of course I could go like this, right? Of course I could do that. But we want to do this. We want to score from back here, right? Let's go. It was funny because the first time on the ice, I'm watching him and he definitely had ability. There you go. It needed to be tweaked. And once we started tweaking things, it really took off to the next level and he's really been pushing ever since. There you go, bud. The basement, we did that about a year ago. We refinished the basement. He went down there. He was stick handling on our new tiles and shooting holes in our wall. So we're like, why don't we just get some hockey tiles and we'll put some insulation up back there so at least it doesn't go through the walls. So that was pretty much why we did that because he was going to do it anyway. The list that me and my dad made um, at night to know what to do in the morning because sometimes he's still sleeping and I go down here, I look at this and see what kind of drills I do. He does a lot of off-ice training as well. He really he uses the Super Deaker as well as some other devices, training hockey devices, daily. I've been working with Gregory since the beginning of the summer, since the hockey season ended. He's a great listener, he's a great learner, he always takes the time. We don't always do everything at top speed, but we do it in enough speed for him to really learn and change the little things to help him improve. Protecting the puck, make a move around the stick, and shoot. We worked on a lot of stick handling and shooting, a lot of hand sliding, placement, really working around the puck to support the puck when he shoots and really pulling the puck in when he shoots. Yeah, Firing, good stick handling, you keeping your head up. Good. And the forwards and backwards was working on transitioning with the puck and then working on a pull move. So we worked on good transitioning and puck support. And then stick handling through was working on keeping your head up, get the feel for the puck, work on sliding your hands and supporting the puck. And then a shooting, just work on pulling the puck in, releasing it, firing it, aiming where you want to shoot. So he has several coaches a week. He sees two different coaches, typically one per day, that help him with the rollerblading as well. Well, as far as drills, he does a lot of stick handling. He looks on YouTube, he'll see what some of the professionals are doing. He'll see like Connor McDavid does this drill off ice. So he'll try to emulate those drills. He'll see what kind of shot Austin Matthews is doing, and he'll try to um, do a similar kind of shot. The rollerblading pretty much just started when quarantine started. As soon as there was no more ice, he had to find another outlet. So he really took to the rollerblading, started in the street, and then we decided to build the rink for him in the yard to continue practicing his skills there. Well, I want to make it to the NHL, so I practice 
whenever I can. I look up to Matthew Barzell and Austin Matthews. I like that Barzell has really good edge work and Austin Matthews, he's my number and he has a really good shot. I mean, there's a lot of kids that can skate. There's a lot of kids that can play hockey. The thing that I notice about him, like I said, is his determination. He is willing to put the work in every day. He loves to play hockey. So sometimes people tell me, like, be careful, you're going to burn him out. But honestly, I don't make him do anything. He actually comes to me or will ask me, like, what do we have today? Oh, can I work with this coach? Can I work with that coach? So I, I never push him for anything. It might look like that on the outside, you know, because he's doing so much, but really I, I never do. With Gregory, one thing that sets him apart, and he does stand out, is his ability to pick up things very quickly. Typically on the ice, he has a really good sense of balance, and that really does set him apart, along with his perseverance and determination. He doesn't give up. Gregory is always doing something silly. So to us, this was just a typical day of Gregory. He decided to pick up a leaf blower that my husband had been using to clean the front of the street. And he began to skate around with it and we recorded it. And we never expected it to go viral, but it did. Many different establishments reached out to us NHL, with interest. NHL, USA Hockey, Sports Center. Mm -hmm. With interest over the video and really it just kind of went from there posted the video with USA Hockey, NHL. The blower video got over like 20 million views. Because of the video, people start sending me shirts and sticks and hats. It's funny, I just watched a video of him barely able to stand on the ice, and now he's going to surpass me eventually, very soon actually, because his skating ability is so strong. He gets so low to the ice, he's just confident. It's gone to a point where he's elevated past a lot of players older than him. Tough to say, he's so young, but I really think that he has the ability to go to whatever level he wants to push himself to. He has all the basic tools and even more advanced tools in his kit that the sky's the limit for him. He can go on to the next level and really push and hopefully play elite and get to that next next step. I see him going very far and definitely dedicated. He loves the game, he loves to be here, he always shows up ready to go, always wanting to work more, so I see him going very far. It would be amazing if he could play Division One hockey. Really at this point, that's a realistic goal, I would think. Yeah, I have no really preset expectations for Gregory other than that I will support him in whatever he pursues, and I do feel that the sky is the limit with Gregory because of his tenacity and his hard work.